Hello, my name is Jonathan Day. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not just kidding. The day Oliver was born, she didn't believe me. She was like, uh, Serena was like, hey, uh, I think I feel something. Like, what are you feeling? Oh, it's probably nothing. It's probably nothing. That's what she said. But, like, you can barely move. Let's go. This past year, I would relive meeting Oliver over and over and over again. I mean, my baby was born this year. <laughs> well, I can tell you what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to work on like, not, not really saying stuff. Just trying to think about what I'm saying instead of just saying it out loud. If a situation comes, I've been trying to not blame anybody. Just come up with a solution because it doesn't help if you just blame someone. I just, I've been trying to just come up with a solution, even if it wasn't my fault or even if it was. I just come up with a solution and we'll get it done. I learned to gather information and not listen to fear. Lots of fear was spread around this year and not a lot of legit information was really handed out. Like a lot of false information, a lot of misinformation, just people being confusing and talking about fear. Oliver's touching the thing. <laughs> talking about uh, fear, spreading that. Hello. It was fun. It was fun. the best it would be to stay true to what you say. So if you say you're gonna do something, do it. And if, you, you know, if you say you're gonna do it, you just don't do it. No one's gonna believe you when you do say you're gonna do it. So I've been trying, I've been really trying to stay with that. My sister-in-law said to just add water when it comes to my children. And that makes so much sense. Whenever our one was stressed out or frustrated or just needed to get some energy out, especially for being quarantined for so long, I just let her play in the sink or I gave her a bath and it was always perfect. Played outside in the hose, water. She was so happy when I gave her water. Watch your fingers in the door. Well, other than Oliver, which was, I got a, I got a son this year. I like, I really liked going to Texas and visiting the family and being able to see my nieces, um, Ben, Rachel, Jennifer, all of those. Yeah, uh, my best friend, Sarita's best friend, um, her mom and dad, which we've seen. To this year, but um, I think it's been like four or five years since I've been to Texas, and I loved every minute of it. This is an easy one. The best thing that happened to me was Oliver James was born. I got my baby. He came out the belly. That happened because my clock was beeping. That was your favorite? Yeah. You like your clock? Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's going to say, I, uh, going to work and having to put a mask on for 12 hours. I guess the saddest part of, of, of this year and the best part of this year is I found out that I have two types of sleep apnea and I got it treated. I think for me, one of the saddest things that happened was watching my daughter watch neighborhood kids, like the kids right next door, she would just watch them through the fence and not understand why I wouldn't let her go play with them. She would like call out to them and have her hand up like some dramatic movie. And I couldn't let her go play with them. That was sad. You had to leave him here, huh? Yeah, but he's all better. He's all better. Sarita? That's it. <laughs> I can't 
keep on trying to think of something that made me laugh and honestly you can hear Oliver's laughter and Arwen's laughter right here as they play. That's gotta be it. Me just laughing at them having fun. Like, their laughter made me laugh. I mean, we were stuck inside. It had to have been something close by and it was my babies being happy. Made me laugh. Through Tanya. Through Tanya again? Yeah. <laughs> what else made you laugh? My, my bubbles. Your bubbles. My bubbles made me laugh. That was fun. Yeah, that was, that was maybe part of the bubble. Oh yeah. You made the bubbles too. Yeah. And I popped the big one. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm looking forward to this year is, is um, we're moving, hopefully, in the next couple of months to closer to where I'm going to school. Um, I'm finishing up prereqs to get into the nursing program and hopefully apply this at uh, the end of this year and just live in a better life you know, moving forward. What I am looking forward to is I actually booked a wedding for like, you know, I gotta take Wedding pictures. Me! I did! I am so excited to grow my business and to learn and like, I mean, my gosh, dreams are coming true! I just wait the place. I guess just me with Mom. I can't think of one that's really kind of stands out as special. They were all special too. My favorite Christmas memory is seeing Arwen and Oliver play with their cousins. Like they never get to see their Texas cousins and man they had a blast. It was so much fun to see. When I go to school the second half of the semester, finishing out strong instead of kind of teetering off and losing weight. Take the time. Cut for it. <laughs> this is easy. 2021, I am going to work on my business and my novel that I'm writing and <laughs> trying to make that happen. And of course, taking care of these crazy little kids. Ah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's a good one, baby. <laughs> okay.